land characteristics and soil resources of southern region and southeast coast. Physiography of southern region and southeast coast comprise of high mountains, hills and alluvial plains descending towards coastal plain. Soil characteristics in the area depend on soil parent materials. Soil on beaches or beach ridges are generally very sandy, such as Rayong series and Hua Hin series. The more inlands from the beaches are lowlands. The soils are poorly drained, sandy textured soils, such as Wan Brian series. The soils on alluvial plain are clay textured, suitable for paddy rice cultivation, such as Patalung series and Glen. Series. The foot slope region comprises of reddish clayey soils derived from residuum of igneous rocks, particularly basalts. Eastern portion of the cross section consists of hill with descending slope to coastal area. This part is occupied by very deep, clayey, low drained soils suitable for growing taro rubber, oil palm, or fruit trees, such as Tamai series. Shallow soils or soils with presence of laterite or other stone gravels in the southern region and the southeast coast are Klongshak series and Shumpon series. The soils on residuum derived from sandstone have sandy loam or sandy clay loam texture include Kaohong series and Tase series are mainly used for fruit trees and tree crops. Soils and land characteristics in responsible area of Land Development Regional Office 2, LBRO 2. The Land Development Regional Office 2 is located in the eastern region. The areas under responsibility of this office include Chonburi, Bayong, Rajinburi, Satgao, Shantaburi, Chakshengsao, and Trat provinces. Based on cross section pictures, the coastal area and bay area have old sandy beaches and beach ridges. The soil in these areas are generally sandy soils such as Rayong series. The next inland area is low alluvial plain. The most often found soil in this area has clay textured with plantite in the subsoil and poor fertility such as Glare series. The former tidal flat area has very deep clayey soil with medium fertility such as Shakshan Sao series and acid sulfate soil area of Mahapot series. The Mahapot series draw yellow gerocyte models in subsoil and it is a very acidic soil or acid sulfate soil. The next inland area is an upland of middle riverine terrace. Soils in this area are shallow gravelly soils such as Sakao series and Bangkla series. The foot slope and hill areas consist of various kinds of soils depending on their parent materials. These include the very deep sandy soils derived from granites such as Satahip and Shantuk series. The shallow soils underlain by gravels derived from coarse textured sedimentary rocks such as Tayan series. The shallow soil with gravels derived from fine textured sedimentary rocks such as Huayot series and the moderately deep clay soil derived from fine grained sedimentary rocks such as Wan Sapun series. The middle area of the cross section picture is a shallow soil overlay mao layer used for growing fruit crops. It is Bung Shanang series. Lowland soils formed by old riverine alluvium are Hinkong and Makam series. A very deep coarse loamy soil on the levee is Takun series. A very deep reddish clay soil in areas underlain by volcanic rock is Tamai series. The lowland plain area consisting of very deep clay soil is used for paddy rice cultivation. The soil is Bangnara series. The area connected to the Gulf of Thailand is brackish alluvial land of tidal flat in Sha'am series soil area. This is a very deep clay soil with straw yellow gerocytes mottled. It is very acidic soil or acid sulfate soil where plant nutrients are fixed with materials toxic to crops. The 
Coso lowlands with tidal effect consist of deep silty clay soil, such as the Pua Tung series, or very deep clay soil, such as Ban Pakong series, with sulfitic mud subsoils and with regular tidal influence. 